Well, Professor Patrick Ogwang, who discovered the herbal extract from the three indigenous plants, is right to speak to us this time on a number of issues, and among them is how far has he gone with the registering of COVIDx as a COVID cure. And he joins me on NTV Weekend Edition. Good evening, Professor, and thank you for joining me on NTV Weekend Edition. Good evening, Ivan, and good, good evening, the viewers. Yeah, give us an update on how far you've gone with registering uh, COVIDx as a COVID cure. Yeah, as you're aware, in 2021, we released COVIDx the market. The National Authority approved this as an emergency treatment, support treatment for COVID-19. And they had given us a chance to go ahead and conduct clinical trials, which would enable it to be fully registered as a cure for COVID-19. But uh, because of delay in funding, we were not able to conduct the clinical trial. And now, we don't have COVID-19 anymore. We have missed around three waves when it came. And so we cannot do clinical trial on, on efficacy. But I'm told government has released funding for work still to be done. And we are still going to do clinical studies to establish the safety of covid for long-term use. Because we still have other viruses that are disturbing us, like HIV, flu viruses, and so on. So even though COVID-19 does not come back, once we have the clinical safety data of COVID-19, or of covid -X, we shall also trade on other viruses. That's the problem here. Okay. And are you now marketing it as our uh, as a drug, as a relief, or as a cure for COVID-19? Right now, we market it as a supportive treatment for COVID-19 because we do not have evidence that it, it totally cures the disease. Because viruses are difficult generally to cure, but what drugs do, that they kill the virus and make it weak. Then your body can overcome the, the virus or the disease. So right now, COVID supports the body by killing the virus and enables it to overcome the COVID disease. Uh, talk to us about what is needed to make its you know, approval a success. Yes, uh, now that now we're going to do safety studies, that will be one step. Then the second step will be to do efficacy studies. When someone has gotten the COVID-19, we, we then test it on that person and confirm it. Not by me, by, by, by other scientists. But also we can try other viruses, like I said, which will be useful. Once that's done, then it can be approved by even WHO for use worldwide against viruses like COVID-19. Yes. And government has allocated the land and funds for the manufacture of the drug in Soroti. When is Jenna Habo occupying this? Yes, government gave me land in Soroti, but uh, government has not allocated funds for the factory construction. However, we, we, the president directed that the money be given and I was informed by a member of parliament that the money was allocated, but finance yet to release that money. We began construction in Soroti, the money which we had, and part, part of the money that the president gave me. And now we are waiting for government to release money for construction in the laboratory and the factory, so we can start working from there also. Mm. Not only COVID, but even other pro We have many products we have developed, I hope, Ugandans and non Ugandans. And has COVID received any international approvals? If yes, where? If you can tell us. Uh, not yet, but COVID is being used in different countries, including US, Canada, UK. People take them there and they use them. Yeah. Well, uh, for time reasons, we will let the conversation uh, there. But, uh, Professor, thank you so much for really making time to speak to us. Thank you very much, Ivan, and good evening to members.